In the last video I showed the basics of roles and playbooks. In this video I'm going to set up the web server by creating a role that will install and configure a reverse proxy. The reverse proxy will forward the requests of the visitors to the application server. Just as with a basic role, the first step is to create the necessary folder structure, meaning a folder named web server below roles that contains a folder tasks with a main.yml in it. The first command I'm going to add is the installation of the required packages. At the moment I only need the Apache 2 package. The default installation of Apache 2 on Ubuntu already brings the required Apache module for the reverse proxy directives. But I do have to activate the Apache module and there is a specialized Ansible module to do this. It's called well, Apache 2 module, and all it needs as parameter is the name of the Apache module to activate. Of course, having the proxy module activated isn't enough. I still need to tell the Apache what requests to forward to which destination. I do this by copying over a configuration file named proxy.conf. I'm using the template module here. The template module is similar to the copy module in the sense that it copies a file from the control machine to the target host. But it does a bit more than just copying. The template module will investigate the source file for variables and, if found, replace them with appropriate values. Let me explain this a bit more. The proxy configuration is actually rather simple. Every request the web server gets will be forwarded to the app server. To do this, the web server needs to know the IP address of the app server and the port the app server is listening on for requests. The latter is determined by the application, but the IP address depends on my network setup. I could just have a look at the interface configuration of the app server and copy the IP address into the configuration file. But there is a more elegant solution. Ansible knows everything about the machines, including their IP addresses. So all I have to do is to tell Ansible to put the IP address in the proxy conf file. I can do this by writing a variable into the config file. Variables in Ansible are always surrounded by double curly braces and I have a link to the available variables in the video description. In this case I need the IP address of the primary network card of the app server and I get this like this. I also have to add the proxy pass reverse directive because Apache requires this in order to work properly as reverse proxy. But there are two more things I need to make sure. The first is to enable the proxy configuration. The Apache package on Ubuntu 16.04 brings a command for this called a2nconf. Unfortunately, there is no Ansible module for this, so I will have to use the shell module. The second part is to notify the Apache about the configuration change. This is done by restarting the service. I could add those commands to the list of tasks in the web server role, but this would mean that both of them would get executed every time I do an Ansible run. Given that one task is to restart the Apache, this would produce a short downtime every time. To avoid this, I'm going to make use of handlers. A handler is just like a normal Ansible task, but it will only be executed if triggered by another task. In this case, the config activation and the Apache restart will only occur when the proxy.conf has been changed, and not every time an Ansible run is started. 
To add such a handler to a task, I have to extend the task with the notify directive, followed by a list of handlers I want to be called. The actual handler definitions go inside a main.yml, but this time the file is placed in a handler subdirectory instead of tasks. The syntax of handlers is similar to the task syntax, but this time the name matters. It has to match the name that was given in the notify list. As handlers are essentially tasks, I can use the same modules like the shell module in this example. I can even have a handler notify another handler, so I let the activation handler notify the restart handler. This way the Apache gets restarted every time the proxy.conf changes. Now I can add the web server role to the playbook. I need a new entry because I only want to assign the web server role to the web server machine. Okay, let's run the playbook. As you can see, Ansible installed the Apache package, enabled the module, copied the configuration, which in turn triggered the handlers. Let's have a look at the web server. The Apache seems to be running and the proxy.conf has the IP address of the app server. Let's check the application by accessing the web server's IP with a browser. Okay, the Apache answers. The error message is expected. There is nothing running on the app server yet. Setting up the app server will be covered in the next video.